Well, hello there. I'm Lady Dove Seven, as most of y'all know me on DeviantArt. Uh, my real name is Angela. Just wanted to introduce myself to y'all before I get any farther into tutorials and videos. This is my chaotically organized workspace. I wish I had a super in cool, intelligent bookshelf to pose in front of, but this is what we get. And today I'd like to talk to you guys about color pencil tools. So, stay tuned. Allow me to introduce your tools. May I present the star of the show, the color pencil. Dun -dun. Now, there are a lot of brands of color pencils that are out there. There's Rose Art, there's Crayola, which I'm sure we all have fond memories of using Crayola in grade school. But once you get a little more serious as an artist, you want to get more serious tools. So personally, I use Prismacolor color pencils. Now what makes these different than other pencils is that they have a bit of clay in the lead. So when you lay them down, they go down real smooth. And uh, that makes them really special. They're a bit pricey at over a dollar a piece, so you may, if you can't afford them, a great alternative is praying. They get the job done, although they're still not as smooth blending as Prismacolor color pencils. I also recommend, if you're doing a lot of skin tones, to get these starting colors. Dark Umber, my personal favorite. Peach, Light Peach, Indigo, Black, and White. This is generally a burnishing color which is what you use to blend on top of other colors to make it look smooth. Next we have the ever so handy Art Sticks, S-T-I-X. What this is is like a super compressed color pencil also made by Prismacolor, which means that since they're made by the same brands, you can match the colors of the Art Sticks to the individual LEDs. Really handy. They're great for filling in huge backgrounds if you don't want to drive yourself insane coloring in with little LEDs. Saves you some time and some money. Next we have the pencil extender. Not to be confused with the thing longer. Now what this tool is, when you get little stubs like this, it gets really hard to sharpen these things and to use them. So what you do, just stick it in there. Dun dun dun! Automatic Insta Long Pencil. It's good for extending the life of your pencils and saving a bit more money if that dollar per pencil is really stretching the bank. Next, we have erasers. Now, I know what you're thinking the pink eraser is so cuddly and friendly, but do not be deceived. This pink eraser will betray you in the end. The thing about this is that it has a dye in it, and sometimes when you erase, it'll leave a permanent pink streak in your stuff, and that's not good. So personally, I use white plastic erasers. They're easy to find, and they're a bit harder than most erasers like gum arabic, which is kind of soft and crumbly. So that means it's easier to get a grip on the pencil and lift it up if you make a mistake. Now this is a kneaded eraser. It's good for lifting out lighter areas of color, but it's a bit like a big marshmallow. It's not going to grab as much as the white plastic eraser. And here we have my favorite eraser. This is the Tough Stuff Eraser Stick. It's a very fine point eraser. It is also refillable, which means it's money saving in the end. And it's also good for erasing out details and that sort of thing. Next we have the Clear Marker Blender, which is also by Prismacolor. Basically, what this is good for is smoothing out your colors. So if you don't like a lot of tooth or texture showing through your, uh, into your picture, you can do this. First, you clean off your tips so it's not all gross, because they're bound to get nasty from the lead. So, you just smooth over. And that helps blend and smooth if you really hate the paper texture. This is the pencil version of the colorless blender, which is, you know, does the same thing. You color it down and then you smooth it. This just allows you to get more detail than the marker blender. And of course, once you have so many pencils, you're going to want to <laughs> put it in something. 
So this is just a simple art bin plastic holder thing. It comes with customizable flaps so you can make your own size custom compartments. Really cheap. <laughs> At one point this was all organized by color but if you're like me it's not going to stay that way. Finally we have the pastel art bin holder. This is great for holding art sticks which are the same size as pastels. Nice fitted slots so they don't you know get the dust off on one another. And there's a second layer which is handy. And this has been an introduction to your color pencil tools. I hope, I hope you'll stick with me next time. I'll be working on techniques. This has been LadyDove7.DeviantArt.com.